two of the students will share their experiences and views on behalf of the entire group in this session. Uh, at first, I call upon Ms. S. Lalitha Vaishnavi from ISAR Thiruvananthapuram. And I also like call upon Sri Ernest Paul Ijina from IIT Hyderabad to share their impressions about the program. Good evening, everybody. Good evening to the Honorable Secretary to President, Mrs. Omita Paul, Mr. Shakil Alam, OST to President, Director IIT Delhi, and all the dignitaries in attendance, and all my fellow scholars and guests. If we have to share our experience, we have to start with the moment when we were informed that we could have the privilege to stay in the premises of the highest office of the country. The change of guards at Rashtrapati Bhavan was a true feast to our eyes and ears. Their perfect coordination and tales of bravery left us in awe. The interaction with the President's bodyguards, visit to stables, and equestrian uh, training has certainly helped us appreciate the values of tradition, honor, and bravery that form the foundations of, uh, of our armed forces. And we hope to inculcate the same in our lives. Meetings with the chairman of AICTE and visit to CSIR NPL facilitated us in getting an insight into workings of our labs and Institute of Technical Education in the country. Meeting with the Minister for IT, we got to understand collaboration between government and private sector and also learnt the finer details of Digital India project. The interaction with the Honourable President was an awe-inspiring and humbling experience. We also realize that it has endowed us with the responsibility of, of upholding this honor bestowed upon us, and I'm sure all of us will strive to fulfill it. We also had the opportunity to visit the parliament and see the hallowed halls of policy making Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha. The media interaction session later on also made us feel like celebrities. The harmony and joy that pervades the Rashtrapati Bhavan was beautifully evident in the dinner hosted by the Secretary to the President. We'd like to thank all the people of Rashtrapati Bhavan for their tireless effort. Thank you. Thank you. When you go back to your, your institutions, you should also, I think, talk to the other students, give a seminar, explain, you know, the kind of things that you have gone through, you know, disseminate the information that you have gathered here and share your experience, representatives of your institutes. At some point of time, all of us need to do something which can improve the quality of life of a common man in the country. Just look at the problems around you, and there are so many interesting things that you can do, pursue a career in addressing you know, the real problems of the society. Thank you very much. Thank you. And like you, I was struck by what the president said, because he said two things that I remembered. One was that you don't exist except within that society, in the, and the world that you live in is a world that you should impact upon. Secondly, he stressed quality. Even as we expand the higher educational system, as we provide for equity, what is going to allow India to take its place on the global stage is really going to be the quality that you bring and the quality that you bring to the country, to society. It's you have to be educated well and you have to give back to society 
some of what you got. Rashpati ji is not only a visionary, he's very good at making his team walk the talk. He has been talking about a value-oriented education. He has been talking about the development of the nation on the basis of values, like what he said yesterday, values of patriotism, austerity, values of compassion, sacrifice. So he told us that we're talking about these values, but do something to demonstrate that we really value this talk that we are forever propagating. And that is what gave rise to the 4S initiative here. There's no better way of inculcating a value amongst the people, amongst the people who live in the vicinity and around, than to demonstrate it through active experiments. Good evening, everyone. It's my privilege to offer a vote of thanks at this valedictory session of the in-residence program of scholars from various uh, institutes, IITs, IISC, and ICERS. At first, I would like to express my deep gratitude to our honorable president for taking such an wonderful initiative as the in-residence program. It is his vision and direction that brings this special platform to the academic community to interact with him. I am grateful to the secretary, to the president, Srimati Homita Paul, ma'am, for the conduct of this program. Srivina Sil Overa, Secretary of Higher Education. I also thank Professor V. Ramagopal Rao, Director of IIT Delhi. I express my deep sense of appreciation for all the officers of Rashtrapati Bhavan for conducting this program with professional accuracy, looking with care and attention every aspect and making the stay of the part participants comfortable. I thank my institute IIT Delhi for extending their assistance in all possible manner. I would like to thank IBM and Cisco for their presentations and different demos. I would like to thank Professor Sahasrabude, Chairman AICT and entire group for extending uh, his knowledge and wisdom about the technical uh, education of Indian universities. We are thankful to Terry University for their wonderful visits and their explanation about Green Building Initiative. Our trip to National Physical Lab of CSI was extraordinary. Their presentations and lab visits have been awesome for our students. We are really thankful to them. Last but not the least, the scholars of IITs, ICERs, and ISC who have come from different parts of the country, it is their enthusiastic participation that provides a sense of satisfaction to the rest of us. I thank all of them.